Welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to take one of these extra LED strips that I had laying around and I'm going to attach it into my trunk here. I'm going to put it on the top so that it shines down on my subwoofer down here. So let's go ahead and start our install and see what we have to do. Alrighty, so this is our view looking directly up inside of the trunk. Basically, I'm just going to clean from one side to the other with some rubbing alcohol and a paper towel. And then I'm going to attach the uh, back side of the double-sided adhesive. And then I'll go ahead and route the cable for the power. Now that I've cleaned the area, I went ahead and started snaking uh, the power all the way back here. There's our controller box with our microphone in it. And then this right here is the uh, infrared receiver. We're going to make sure that that kind of hangs down here just a little bit so that our remote will work with it. And then I'm going to start attaching the uh, strip up there to the top. And what I'm actually thinking about doing, because I have a USB that's going to come out here, I'd have to get a USB extension if I was going to run it all the way up to the front where the rest of my USB ports are. I don't have one in the trunk of this car. However, I do have a 20,000 milliamp power brick. And what I was thinking of doing, since uh, I'm not really going to be using these lights much, just when the trunk is open, uh, and I'm like at a, you know, a car meet or something. Basically, I'm just going to snake the cable back here and hide the power brick down behind our carpet, kind of down in here. And I may go ahead and get like some Velcro or something so that it's not moving around in here. Or, you know, find a, a spot where it's going to sit and not make any noise. Um, and then whenever I need to, I can just take it back out, charge it back up. These LEDs aren't going to be taking that much power, so I have a feeling this thing is going to last for quite a while. Alright, so unfortunately I couldn't find any Velcro with uh, adhesive on the back in the garage, so we are going to take a trip to the hardware store real quick to see if we can't find what we need there. So the hardware store didn't have what I needed, uh, but I was able to run to the Walmart down the street and in the uh, like arts and craft supply section, I was able to find some of this uh, Scotch uh, Velcro tape with um, the adhesive on the back. So we'll just cut a few strips of that and go from there. Alrighty, so this is what the LED strip looks like in place. We just kind of snaked it around the top right there and then I ended right over there. And I went ahead and just cut off uh, all this excess here that I didn't need. Uh, here at these little, let's see if I can move it in here, these little gold connectors right here, you can just go ahead and cut straight through that uh, to make the strips whatever size you need. And the last thing we really have to do was attach our power source. So I went ahead and took uh, two little strips that I cut of the Velcro and then two strips of the other side. There we go. And I'm just going to set my battery right here. Again, this is only really going to be in here when I've got the trunk open. I'm stopped at like a, you know, a car show and showing off inside the trunk. Um, and then I've snaked the USB cable all the way through this lip here to where this is just gonna plug in right back here. Oop, other side. All right, and as you can see, we've already started getting light to them. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you have any questions about the lights, let me know in the comments down below. I'll also be putting a link in the description below for those lights if you wanna get some for yourselves. Again, thank you so much for stopping by and I hope to see you in my next video.